On today's collectible spot, we're going to be having a look at the DC Direct Blamoids. Blamoids? Today's Blamoid, we're going to be looking at Two Face. Spot, what is a blamoid? What are you talking about? You're just making up words. I'm really not. It says right there, blamoids. Comes to us from DC Direct. This is Series 3, a collector minifigure. And blamoids, if I could sum it up in a brief description, blamoids are extremely stylized figures. Generally a block, perhaps a block with a head and some arms. Um, from a very basic, very simple, stylized design, um, they, they make various figures from it. Uh, I've normally passed on these. I will tell you right now, I normally will pass on these. They don't do anything for me. However, it's Two-Face. And I am a sucker when it comes to Two-Face related things. Usually anything Two-Face related, I always pick up. Perhaps it's the fact that I'm a Gemini I have a soft spot for Two-Face. Now you're probably going to say, Spot, well, describe more to me what a Blamoid is. Get more into detail. Can you do that? Describe to me the other figures in the wave. Well, why don't I just turn it around, and I'll show you some of the other figures in this wave. First of all, at the top it says, Chunky, Funky, Chunky, Fun. We'll zoom in the camera a bit so you guys can actually see. Again, what it is, is it's essentially a blocky, stylized figure, and then they just slightly change. It's almost like Mighty Mugs. They slightly change certain aspects of the standard block body. Um, so you can get a variety of figures from, say, Two-Face. We've got a classic Batman. We've got ourselves Catwoman. Wildcat. Cyborg. Looks like he's sporting a, a fro. And Robin. I would have loved to have picked up a Batman Sadly, there were no Batman where I went. Other figures you can get from the other series. A modern Batman looks fantastic. Can I zoom the camera further? Any? There we go. We've got ourselves also Joker. We've got Hal Jordan. We've got Sinestro with an extremely large head. We've got Aquaman. Most of these actually as well, you'll notice, you really can't see anything aside from their eyes. In this case, Joker, you're going to just see a big giant smile. Also got Firestorm. We, they did have Superman. I was very tempted to get the Superman. They also had the Lex Luthor. Depending on how much I warm up to these figures, I might go back and get more. But the, as you can see, there's other figures. Flash, we got Martian Manhunter, we got uh, Edrigan, we got Hawkman, Brainiac, Creeper, and uh, Doomsday Plastic Man. There's a variety, certainly a variety, of different Blamoids to get. I also thought to myself, why not review these for you guys? Maybe you guys have not heard of Blamoids either. And if another question you're going to ask me is, Spot, how much did you pay for said Blamoid? Let's zoom the camera in until it materializes itself. $14.99. A little expensive? Absolutely. Unfortunately, because it's DC Direct and the fact that these tend to be collector's items in limited numbers, unfortunately the Blamoids are rather expensive. Now, that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to get this opened up and we will have ourselves a better look at the Blamoid Series 3 Two-Face. There's more on the way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Now, out of package, you can see, get a better feeling for what a Blamoid is. Essentially, again, it's a pre-sculpted. It's basically a, a block, as it were. Um, Indicated slightly by the fact that there's legs, but it's still a solid piece. There is no opening at the bottom here. But it is a block with a couple of arms and a head. Now taking that concept, what they've done with Two-Face here is they've given, they've done the, the pinstripe suit, the regular colored suit. In fact, I believe this is the same coloring as the Gotham 5 pack DC Universe. Uh, Two-Face, which I thought was a fantastic figure. But on the one side, we've got our, the human side of Two-Face, two the regular normal side of Two-Face. He's got himself sporting some hair. Again, you're really only going to see the eyes. There's no mouth. There's no nothing like that. 
the regular suited. And then on the other side, we've got the, the actual scarred Too Faced with the additional hair, as you can see, the additional uh, spiked hair on Too Faced with a little white curl at the top. I, I think that's kind of neat. And we've got this, the pinstripe suit. Now again, you're only going to see the damaged eye on Too Faced. You're not going to see a mouth or anything like that. It's a very, very stylized design. Um, in the way of its articulation, the Blamoid does have a full rotation in the head. You're also going to get ball jointed arms. Now the ball jointed arms will allow you to rotate the arm all the way around and also move the arms in and out. Um, that's essentially all you're going to get. You're going to get like a little stump on the ends, which I guess represent their his thumbs. Um, but really nothing, nothing uh, too complicated with the figure at all. It would be neat if they at least had a coin or something being that it is Two-Face, but very, very simple in design. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I, if I warm up to it, I might pick up a couple more of these, but this represents, my friends, what we like to call in the collecting world as impulse buying. I went out, I saw it, I thought to myself, hmm, that seems like an interesting enough review, let's pick it up. And having now got him out of the package, I will say he's not bad. Um, whether I would go back, I would, now for me, I might go back and just pick up like my favorites. Like I would pick up a Superman, I'd pick up a Batman, and maybe a Joker. And because I've always had a soft spot for Two-Face, certainly Two-Face was on the list as well. Um, I don't know. Not necessarily something I would say that everybody would be getting into. It's a lot like root beer. It's an acquired taste. Not everybody likes root beer. Not everybody likes Blamoids. But it's interesting. I'm just going to say it's interesting. So there you go. Today's collectible spot, good or bad, let me know down below. We were looking today at the DC Direct Blamoids. We were looking at Two-Face. An interesting figure, I'm just gonna say interesting. Not everybody's cup of tea, but a cool kinda looking figure nonetheless. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time.